Hello and welcome to the Every Other Wednesday Evening Show with Matt Miller. I'm your host, Matt Miller. Uh, and if you're thinking, wow, Matt really needs a haircut, you are correct. Uh, today we have a special, special episode with my friend and your friend and your leader, Ryan McClellan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for having me. You were that, huh? Oh. One of us is gonna have to change, so. Well, I think we both look good. No, I, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it either. It's me, me, Jimmy Buck Johnson, professional uh, the ping, ping pong player and natural born camp goer to dude. And I have something to say to you. If you or a loved one are a middle school student, you gotta go to camp July 11th through 16th. It'll be the best week of your life. Don't give me excuses, baseball's over, just do it. All right, and we're back uh, with our guest, Ryan McClellan. Uh, Ryan, just tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do, anything. Well, as Matt uh, said earlier, I am a team leader here as well with, at Wake. I also do construction for a living. Um, pretty much I do general construction. Generally, we do what you need us to do. General construction. General construction. I also help with the projection here at First Christian Church. And I am hoping soon to help out more any way I can. Awesome. Cool. Well, uh, before we get rolling, before we play our game, I want to ask Ryan a couple questions. Um, and we just want you to get to know him a little better, uh, as we do with all these things. That's why we do this. Uh, my first question for you, Ryan, would you rather jump into a pool of diarrhea or have to only drink pee for the rest of your life? I'm going to go with... I think jump in a pool of diarrhea. Yeah, that, I mean, I would definitely do that one too. Because, you know what? No, I wouldn't. I'd drop, mm. I just, <sighs> well, you saw me earlier. I saw a bag of moldy hot dog buns and almost threw up. <laughs> so I don't know if I could drink pee. But I also don't know, can I jump into a pool full of <laughs> poop? Uh, they're, they're both not good options. Right. But I feel like jumping in the pool one time, you're done with it. Yeah, that's true. Or pee, if you're thirsty for one minute to the next minute. You're, hey, what's the beverage of the day? It's pee. It just, it just doesn't sound like something I'm, I'm into. Well, fine. Uh, okay, so you, what, 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 what would you do? Jump in poop? Diarrhea. You, yeah, diarrhea. Are you, are you okay? Is, uh, it just fumes, makes me feel... Fumes from those moldy uh, hot dog buns? It's just gross, and uh, I don't love it. But hey, you know what? That's how it is. Uh, so a couple more questions here, just so people get to know you. Uh, what do you think of garden gnomes? Garden gnomes? I think they, the purpose of whoever invented it did a great job. Um, not only are they one scary to look at if you walk and trip over them at night, mm. two, there's a purpose for them and they're most likely to scare off crows or other insects or animals that are trying to eat your garden. So they're a win-win situation, I feel like. I did not know that they had a, a purpose. I thought people, just weird people, put them in their lawns. I honestly never once was like, I bet that scares off birds. I've never thought that in my entire life. Uh, that's, that's weird that you would know that. Um, so, next question. You have been given an elephant. Okay. Okay. You can't give it away or sell it. Ooh, selling it would be, a, would be an awesome thing. Well, you can't give it away or sell it. Okay. What would you do with the elephant? I would redo the scene of Aladdin uh, with Ali Ababa. Elephant. Uh, well, that one when he walks in. Mm -hmm. All right. I would do myself going downtown 
in Philadelphia. Okay. Preferably in the spring or summer where it's warm, because right now it would be a terrible time. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if elephants... I don't know, can they survive them? I don't know. You, you want to know how dumb I am? I was just like, I bet they turned into woolly mammoths in the winter. <laughs> and then I was like, that doesn't make sense, because two different time periods and species and all that. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I mean, makes sense. Okay, if you were a tree, okay, what kind of tree would you be? Thank you. See, that's one thing, one topic I'm not sure on is a lot of different types of trees out there. But, if I had to go with one, being the, the guy I am, the big Ohio State fan I am, I'd have to go with a Buckeye tree. Is that a tree? I don't know. I think it's a tree. Well, I I know like Bradley Pear is a tree, Dogwood is a tree, and all it's like a, like maple oak. Maple pine. oak, cherry. Cherry is a tree. I know those ones. George cause... Washington knew about that one. I didn't, I've never, are Buckeyes a tree? That's a good question. Maybe they're a bush. If you Buckeye could, bush. If you could comment in and let us know if yeah. it is a Buckeye Send tree. Send that. Yeah, for sure. Let us know. Or what tree that is. I'd like to be, I'd like to know. Yeah. Because you can make them as necklaces. So you want to be a tree thing. that provides, not necessarily wood finish structures, but like cool stuff for necklaces and to fend off wolverines. I like that. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> imagine this scenario. We finish the interview. Okay. Okay, you step outside and uh, you find a lottery ticket on the ground. Okay. Scratch it off, watch the lottery Powerball thing that night, and you win $10 million. Okay. What do you do with that? With $10 million? $10 million. Instantly, overnight. Keep in mind you got a daughter on the way. What do you do? I do have a daughter on the way. And a house that needs finished. You know what? In my mind, I've already you know thought of this process. If I would win $10 million, is that correct? Yeah. Well, yeah, you found it and then you win. I yeah. found it and I won. I would, being the guy I am, I would, you know, take care of my family, obviously, but I would try to find the, who lost that ticket because originally someone had that before I did. Ooh. So, Noble. being a good guy I am, I would try to find out who won that. Hmm. And you know, explain to him, hey, let's let's work this out. Let's split it. Okay. I found it. I kept it. At the same time, I feel wrong for that though, because you really you might have needed that more than I did. You were you, maybe you thought, hey, I need to win this to be able to get myself out of debt, fix my car. Ten million dollars out of debt, man. That was like. Well, that's. I'm so sure it happens. Bro, you're probably right. But I'd have to go with taking care of my family and trying to find out who else was needed because he might need it more than I do. <laughs> Um, if you had the choice between two superpowers, flying or invisibility, what would you choose? That's easy. Flying. Really? Mm hmm Hmm. Why? Why? Think about it. You can get from point A to point B quicker. Ultimate goal in life is to get from one place to another. And you try to involve that so many times while you can either walk, crawl, run, drive a vehicle, take a plane somewhere. Why would you not want to fly from here to California? Why would you not want to fly from here to Hawaii? Oh, hey, let's true. go get lunch in Hawaii. I'll fly you there. Yeah. I just imagine like, I don't know, like in X-Men or like the dude, I can't remember his name, but he like turns into smoke. He like can grab you and then turn into smoke and go somewhere else. That's, I guess it's not technically flying, but uh, inter interesting fact, 72% of people that are asked that mm -hmm. um, choose flying, which makes sense because flying, sense. like I would choose flying. Yeah. If I were in eighth grade, I'd be like, invisible, you know why. But I'm not in eighth grade, I'm an adult. Correct. I'd be like, hey, let's go to Myrtle Beach tonight. You know what I'm saying? That'd be awesome. uh, so that makes sense. But here's the other one, or the last one. Okay, okay this one's more you personally. Okay, you are in construction, you're building a house or fixing a house up. Um, for your family, You've been married. How long have you been married to Michelle? Oh, we've been married. It would be two years in June. Wow. June what? June eighth. That is not my birthday, but I'm sorry. I was hoping. It's the day um, after my <laughs> daughter's birthday. Really? Where are you at? Okay, so my uh, my last question is: What legacy do you hope to leave for your family? 
What do you want them to remember by? I, I was inspired by this because I saw a car at Walmart last night that had, uh, you know, rest in peace, Leroy Jenkins, 1958 to 2001. And then over here, rest in peace, Squidly Dumption, whatever his name is, and then rest in peace. And I got into my truck and I was like, man, I hope when I die, I am more than a bumper sticker or like a, you know, the um, in memory sticker because, you know, I want my life to impact people. So what impact or what legacy do you want to leave uh, for your family or for the students in Wake? Um, what do you want to be remembered by? That's, that's a really good question. It is. I just came up with it just now. Kind that's of, that's yeah, incredible. Not really. <laughs> One day my family could look at me, look back on my life and say that he was a hardworking man who gave everything he had. Mm -hmm. if, if that was time, money, inspiration, whatever I could give, if it influenced someone and spiritually, you know, on a house project, on just a f phone call just to say, hey, how you doing? How's your day? If I could be known as that guy, hey, he was always a guy you could talk to. He ins would inspire inspire you to get up and go do something, to give an effort. You know that would be awesome. All right, cool. It doesn't have to be. Oh, he was a millionaire. He he helped yeah. me out. If I could just be a a good father, a good husband, a good Christian. Mm -hmm. If I was just known as a hardworking man. Good. That would that would make me so happy. Awesome. Well, I think you won't have an issue there. You're one of the hardest working guys I know. Appreciate uh, you know, every time I look at your <laughs> Snapchat story, it's like, hey, I'm working on this house. And I'm sitting there, like sitting at a desk or watching Cutthroat Kitchen or something. Just like, well, I'm not doing anything. But uh, that's really admirable. And I really admire you for that. And I'm super happy that you're uh, leading with us again this year. And I know the students are. And I'm really excited, especially our older guys. They love you. Um, so I can't wait for it to warm up and we can start hitting the links again. Yeah. Um, if you guys don't know, Ryan is also a, an amazing golfer. Uh, he is almost as good as his wife. So yeah, that's, that's uh, a good point. Um, She'll tell you that first hand. Yeah. So, uh, well, we are going to play a game right now. All right. This game is called, I can't hear you. And what's going to happen is I'm going to whisper something and, uh, off my little list here. And Ryan is going to have to say what he thinks I'm listening to while he has big headphones on that are blaring hardcore music. So, again, the game's called I Can't Hear You. All right? So, away we go. The basis of this game is I am going to say something to you while you have overwhelmingly loud uh, hardcore music in your headphones and these beautiful... PlayStation headphones that are Bluetooth, buy them. Um, we're not sponsored by them, but it'd be cool. Um, and you're gonna try and guess what I say. So you're gonna you're gonna try and read my lips, mm -hmm. which you did earlier, embarrassingly. This is gonna either go well or... Well, we'll see how good I am, we'll I see. guess. Um, and then, if you get them right, great job, you get a point, I'll give you a little trophy or something, who knows. Um, and if you get them, if you get less than half, Right. You have to take a hit of the spiciest hot sauce I have. Okay. Okay. We'll just use a spoon. That's fine. All right. Okay. Here we go. Just guess what I'm trying to say. I can't hear you. Yeah. You're supposed to, <laughs> you're supposed to read my lips. So, and then guess. Pizza? Easy peasy? Yes. Okay, next one. I love you. Ah, good one. Okay, next one. Strawberries. Strawberries. Oh my gosh, okay. Beyonce. Beyonce. On set? Beyonce. Bigger on set. <laughs> Beyonce. Beyonce. Trucks or cars? <laughs> what? Beyonce. 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 set. Beyonce? No, we're gonna Beyonce. Go. What? Beyonce? Yes, Beyonce. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's gonna get a little tougher. I like when you sniff your dog. Ooh, that was a good one. 
I like when you sniff your dog. I love your car. No. I like when you sniff your dog. I like what you... I like when you sniff your dog. I like what you said about God. No. <laughs> I, I like... I like when you sniff your dog. I like when you... Sniff your dog. Give your... <laughs> sniff your dog. I like it when you... Sniff. Sniff. Save. Your dog. Your... Dog. Car. No. Okay. <laughs> Next one. Be yourself. No. <laughs> All right. If you want to skip, you can skip. I'm getting dry mouth here. Your mouth's dry? Dry yeah. in here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have music still? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a great song. Pickles on buns. Beetlejuice? No. <laughs> <laughs> pickles on buns. Pickles. Uh. And uh. pickles. Pickles and onion? Pickles and butt? What? Pickles and butt. Pickle no. Juice. Pickles and butt. No. Pickle. It was pickles on buns. All right, next one. Ready? Olive juice. Olive juice. Holy cow. What? Okay. Eat your foot. In your face? No. Eat your foot. In your foot? No. Eat your foot. In your foot. In close. your... You're close. Eat your foot. In your... In your... In your foot. Face. <laughs> no. All right, next one. Defy gravity. Defy gravity. Have you... Do you have everything? No. Defy gravity. This is a hard one. It's a sweet breakdown right now, though. Yeah. This is really loud. Yeah, it is. Defy gravity. Fire everything? No. One more chance. Have you everything? No. Okay, <laughs> next one. SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh, jeez. Do that one more time. SpongeBob SquarePants. I have no SpongeBob idea. SquarePants. Smallpox. <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. Yes, you got it. Okay, <laughs> good job. Okay, I think that. Uh, let me pause you for a second here. I think you got one, two, three, four. Not that one, not that one. Not, and you got that one. So you got five. You got six out of ten, which means you win, but I really want you to lose. <laughs> that's 60%. That's. I mean, that's a fail. That's yeah. A, that's, a, um, that's above average. We'll do. 50% is average. We'll, we'll do um, two more. Yeah. And if you. Yes, two more. And if you get one right, we'll only do one more, and then you win. Okay. Okay? Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. This is the final round. Final round. Oh, yeah, I was just telling them. Okay, <laughs> ready? <sighs> Sir Wigglesworth. Sir Wigglesworth. Something Hensworth. Okay, that's one. Sir Wigglesworth. Squidward. Something hands worth. Nope. All right, next one. The ball is in your court. One more time. The ball is in your court. The, the mall is crazy? Mall is packed. That's one. The ball is in your court. The mall is scary. Mall is big. No, that's the the mall is closed. No, okay. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Wait, what? What's the math on that now? So you had five, you had six, and you missed four, and now you missed six. We need to do one more. Uh, this is the tiebreaker. Okay, it's putting pressure on me. Yeah, I want you to eat that thing. I had to do it. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm ready. WrestleMania 33. Something 33. 
Your birthday, you're gonna be 33 on your birthday? No, dude, I'm gonna be 30, first of all, <laughs> but what the heck, man? Do I look 33? No. <gasps> WrestleMania. You have one more chance. One okay. chance. Okay. You heard that because I'm talking. WrestleMania 33. It's 12:33. No, it was <laughs> oh. WrestleMania 33. Oh, I heard All that. right, you can take those off now, and we will start our next segment. You can't drink the milk right away. I thought you said I could. You're supposed to like taste it first. I did taste it. What does it feel like? Well, my throat is kind of burning. <laughs> Slowly making its way down to my my chest. It's hot. Mm hmm But I'm alright. Man, that's hot. Yeah. It's not like a hot like it's burning, it's just in my throat. Oh, <laughs> The milk just like it like neutralizes it's it like neutral acid in a base or whatever. It's like I mean, you're not even sweating. I'm sweating. Just watch. I watched myself <laughs> pour that and I started sweating. Yeah, we like the hot sauces around here. That's some hot stuff. It's hot. All right, Ryan. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. Hope your uh, like larynx doesn't burn out inside your throat. Yeah. Um, well, you've been a good sport. That's awesome. Appreciate and the kids love watching that. If you start crying, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can see a little tear pop. I'm good. I think I see it. Um, I'm a champ. I'm good. Is it still a little burning? Like burning a little bit? It does after the milk. It like goes it's away. It's gone. It goes away. But when you drink milk, take like a deep breath and you're. Like... Does that make it worse or when I blow out? Yeah, that's when it hurts. Yeah, it's crazy. Breathing hurts. Um, well, congratulations. Thank you. That is apparently the hottest sauce like ever. So, is it? No, I have no idea. Oh. I think when you take it like a pill and wash it down with milk, probably not that hot. Uh, but on like a chicken wing, it's pretty hot because you like chew it and stuff. Um, but you got out of that this week, so good job. Is that what you were going to do earlier? Oh, I, yeah. But then we were like, let's film in the morning. So we, I did not. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate you being here. Uh, yeah. What are you excited about for this year? What do you have coming up um, that you are just over the moon about? Well, I'm really excited. Uh, I just bought my first home and I'm literally flipping it. I'm remodeling every single room. I can't wait to go home. Oh, sorry, it's, <laughs> it's hard to talk. I can't wait to live in my own house, wake up in the, in the morning and be like, this is, this is ours. All the time and effort I put in this place. It's, you know, it, it feels so good. Other than that, I'm super excited. Hopefully this year is a better year than last year. Mm. Everyone needs it, I think. And uh, I can't wait to get back with the kids, hang out with them, hit the links, like you said. Not only that, just just talk. Hear how, how they're doing it every day. Yeah, it's, talk without fire coming out of your mouth. Without fire coming yeah. out of your mouth. Um, <laughs> and you know, I'm, I'm trying to get closer to God. That's that's the biggest thing in my life right now. I think it's, ah, sorry. <laughs> I think it's effort. You have to put effort into something to see an outcome. And if you don't put an effort into getting closer with God, and surrounding yourself is the biggest thing with people like you um, and Jamie and Jim and every other staff member at the church and every um, 
member here as well. And that, I think that's the biggest thing. It's just community. Yeah. Community. Having a strong community, friends is the biggest thing. There you go. Awesome. Well, I appreciate it. I hope we have a great year. I'm excited to spend it with you. And uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Give it up for Ryan and his uh, really hot mouth. Yeah. That sounded weird.